Hi guys, welcome to Simple Programming. In this video, let us see how a router works in Spring integration. Routers consume message from a message channel and forward each consumed message to one or more different message channels depending upon a set of conditions. There are multiple routers available for you to make use of. We have a payload type router, header value router, recipient list router, etc. In this example, let us see how a payload type router works. The payload type router routes the request to a message channel depending upon the type of the object or the payload. So for this example, I have created two objects. One is the address and the student object. In my controller, I'm going to hook up two post mappings. One is for the student object and the other is for the address object. Let's quickly take a look at the integration gateway. The integration gateway interface is going to have a method signature process of a generic type. So I'm going to use this process method in my controller to send either the student object or the address object. Let's quickly take a look at our configuration. In my configuration, I have a service actuator which is going to accept a request from the input channel router.channel and I have a payload type router as a bean which is going to route the request depending upon the type of the op that comes in the input channel. If the input channel has student object in it, it is going to go to the student.channel. If the input has address object in it, then it is going to go to the address.channel. I have created two services. One is the address service which is going to accept the address channel and print the message. Then I have a student service which is going to accept the student.channel from the payload type router and print the message. So these are going to be two different services. So let us quickly run this example and let us try to observe the behavior here. All right, I'm going to clear the console. Let's go to our postman and let's try to fire a request. I'm going to fire a request for the address object. And I click on send. I don't get anything here because I'm not going to return anything. Let's take a look at our console. In our console, if you look at here, right, it has gone to our address service. The payload type router has identified the type of the object and it has routed that object to the desired channel. So in this case, it's going to be address.channel and I have received the address object in the address.channel. Now let us try to fire a student object. So I'm going to fire a student object now, which is going to be integrate slash student. When I click on send, the student.channel gets invoked and the message gets delivered to the student.channel by the payload type router. Now, do you see the difference in the payload type router? It routes the request depending upon the type of the object that comes in in the input channel. I hope you like the videos guys. Please subscribe for more such videos. Thank you.